Hi there, I'm Patrick for Fans Live on UHA Sports and I'm here with the Spurs guys as we are still celebrating the Arsenal win a couple of weeks back. But no, actually we are here to watch the Newcastle Spurs game. A little different because this time, together with the Spurs fan here at Majid, we've got the Toonami Malaysia. And it's going to be a good match. So let's watch fans live right here at Majid's. Alright, this is our pre-game interview together with the Spurs and also the Toon Army Malaysia and uh, a little bit different because we've got enough people here so I'm just going to disappear. So the Spurs guys are going to be interviewing the Newcastle boys while the Newcastle boys will be interviewing the Spurs guys. I'm just going to stand at the back and play referee. Uh, Leonard? Yeah, hi. Uh, so what, what do you guys think about uh, today's game? Basically, uh, we, we think uh, definitely Fortress St. James Park, we're going to win today. It's, it's, it's going to be two. 3-1, 3-1! We win by 2-1 guys, you guys are! 3-1 is first one. Okay, <laughs> alright. But uh, so, are you guys, I, I, I think, I mean, I'm a part Newcastle fan myself, okay. alright? Yeah, I'm a part Newcastle fan. I, I graduated from Newcastle, alright? Yeah. But then the thing is that I think this is one of their best seasons ever, isn't it? Uh, the season is still young, you know. Uh, so far, so far, we, we have a good start to the season. Uh, I think this is one of the best starts we had in, in the last uh, decade, you know, the last 10 years. So, so uh, we are very optimistic that this season we will uh, try to find our way into Europe, at least. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Rowan, do you have anything to ask our guys here? Um, are you surprised to be fourth? Surprised no, no. I mean, not surprised I, to be fourth, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised. But. <laughs> I mean, but majority of people think think it's a fluke, but but we've been putting in the performances. Uh, we we've been grinding out the results, so that, that's all. The scoreboard says it all. But why is it that the Newcastle fans hate Mike Ashley so much, even though he has put in quite a lot of investment of his own money into the club? I I don't think that. that One question: Where's the Carroll money? Where's the Andy Carroll money? That, uh, that's the question all of us are asking. That's the reason. Where, where did the 35 million go to? Exactly! Right! Yep. He promised, promised, promised. Be a belly. Yeah, so, so I think, I think uh, and, and for him to rename the, the uh, St. James Park as Sports exactly. Direct, so I think that doesn't go down well with, with us fans. Yeah. That's a very bad move. That's, yeah. that's purely a commercial thing, I believe, right? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, okay. You've got nothing to ask first, guys. Uh. All right. Okay, can I ask? What happened to Luka Modric? Where's the loyalty at this stage? Well, I think, I, I think it's clear to see that, you know, um, one of our players did a very good interview this morning, all right, uh, BAE, you know, Ikoto. I mean, he actually said it really on the dot. He says that uh, they're all playing for money. I mean, let's, let's be real, right? In, to, in today's environment, we all work, right? We're all professionals. But then have you heard of Alan Shearer? Guys, Alan Shearer! Yeah! <laughs> Teddy sharing him. Well, I, 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 well, the thing is about Modric is that I mean, if he if he signs a new deal, fine and dandy. I mean, we, we will carry on with him. But if he doesn't sign a new deal and uh, we can get maximum money out of it, it's a, it's a business thing right now. I mean, right. sad to say. I mean, we are all fans, yeah. but that's Loyalty a reality. Is a rare commodity these days. These days. Yeah, unfortunately. I mean, unfortunately, when you look at a team like uh, Manchester City, you can buy your way to the top. Well, let's hope not. Nah. Let's hope not. Play okay, uh, where do you see Spurs at the end of the season? Where do we see yeah. them? Well, I hope that we'll see them in the top four, frankly. I think uh, we've got a very good team. Uh, we're challenging in the right direction. If we don't lose Luka Modric in January and his mind is still there with us, I think we've got a very, very strong chance to be even top three. Who knows? You know, Because the ball is round. We've got a good, strong team. Hopefully, injuries don't come and ruin it. We'll, we'll see what happens at the end of the day, you know. I think, uh, I think what's important for us is that <clears throat> maybe um, top four, top five, I don't know how important that is, but we need a cup. And we need a cup because we need to bring a cup to North London because Arsenal haven't seen a cup in a long, long time. So we need to show them what a cup looks like just to remind them. You know, that's the main, that's the main objective. We're just being neighbourly. Okay, good stuff. Yeah.
All right, that pretty much wraps it up for the pre-game interview. Thanks a lot, uh, Rohan, Leonard, Johan, and also Tan. It's about time for kickoff, so it's going to be Newcastle versus Perth right here at Majid Section 16. Van der Vaarden Kroll! Alright, it's half time at Majid's in section 16 with the Spurs supporters and the Newcastle supporters. It's Newcastle nil, Spurs 1. Make some noise, now, way! <laughs> but before we start the half time interview, I gotta check with Apan about something. Because earlier on this season, we asked about Alan Padu. And uh, of course, he was one of the top four managers to get sacked this season. That's what they predicted. So uh, we'll just watch this little clip of what uh, clip of what uh, Zam and also Apan said about Alan Padu. Looking at more uncertainties with the Newcastle guys, well, uh, looking to, at the bookmakers, they've put Alan Padu in the top three managers to first get the sack this season. Uh, Your thoughts on that one, Zam? Okay, seriously, my personal viewing, the, he won't get sacked. Uh, if we don't re get relegated uh, at the end of the season, he won't get sacked. Why? Because he's a yes man. He's, he's easy to manage with. So that's why. No matter how, 16, 17, he won't get sacked. Trust me. What about you? Uh, definitely agree. Padu is a yes man. You, we, you never see him say something bad about my Ashley. Again, hard to pronounce his name. Um, uh, he's just a puppet used by Ashley and direct MBS for boys. I don't see him as a better manager than Chris Hilton. And if you see uh, from his recent interviews, he doesn't really leave the moral of his squad up. But we will see. We will give him a few matches to see how it goes. Okay, so Apan, you said about Alan Padu, he's yeah. not going to get sacked. He's a yes man. As long as you don't get relegated, you finish around 15, 16, he'll be fine. True. But you're now in fourth. What do you have to say about what you said at the start of the season about Alan Padu? Well, we did beat against the odds. Uh, we drew against Arsenal and we keep maintaining form. We have the best uh, defence in the league currently. And credit to him, and I would say the one that makes Newcastle better is the assistant, assistant coach, which is John Carver. He came and we can see that this season Newcastle defence is really mean and quite. Colocini as the captain is really a wise choice. And for Alan Pardo, a bit shaky starts. And after the League Cup, we won narrowly again. Uh, what's, the, what's the thing? I can't remember. 2 1. Hey, sorry, 4 3. I can't remember the result. And we played really bad. So from there, he said he admits that he makes a mistake. And from there, I see that our gameplay improved a lot. So he's not the same man he was at the start of the season? I could say that he started to bang the hierarchy a bit. If you re realize so his recent comment, he would say that we need a striker and stuff. He didn't say that in the first, first place. But now I think he changed his mind. Probably after seeing I Amiobi mean, flopping around. <laughs> <laughs> and that seems to be a very bad word whenever the commentator br brings up Amiobi's name. They just all be praying, saying, no, let it not be Amiobi. But peeps, you're here with me. Of course, uh, he's one of our favourite people on video. But uh, first half performance first, pretty good enough for that 1-0 uh, lead? Uh, I think we need to step it up. Uh, the, the mid Come on, you Spurs! <laughs> the midfield part is uh, doing all right. Uh, well, pretty much okay. Yeah. I, I, I don't expect much. Yeah. I, 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 as long as we win, I'm happy. La. And uh, because yeah. I'm interviewing Pips, Ame has taken over his place as popping up at the corner everywhere. The penalty, should it be given? Yes, it should, la. La. It should be given. Uh, it's a mistake for Kabaye. He lost the possession in the midfield. Too overconfident. Because if you, we, I think they agree as well that uh, we control the match. But we didn't do enough uh, or the last last for the one forward it lasted and but it's a really bad penalty to give away. Okay. But, but but do you agree that they control most of the first half? Yes I agree. I agree with um, uh, my, my brother here that uh, they control the game and it could we could see that most of the three quarter of the half was was Newcastle all the way. Now. Okay. Ledley King is out. Uh, of course, one of the main concerns for us. He's out injured. Don't know when he's going to play again. What do you think is going to happen in the next part uh, with Basong in the centre together with Kabul? Uh, I predict in the second half, uh, in the uh, 55th minute, uh, we'll get a corner and uh, Basong's going to head it in. <laughs> On the 63rd minute, uh, Demba Ba is going to bring back one to Newcastle. 
On the 75th minute, uh, uh, Adi Bayo is going to score a one by one uh, with the keeper. And, uh, and on the 95th minute, uh, the whistle will blow and uh, Spurs, uh, glory, glory, Spurs. All right, if he gets it all right, give me a call and then we, we will sign him up for something. I'll what do you think is going to happen? Up I'll give you a cap. Not that cap. I'll Not this cap, <laughs> but my, I'll give you my cap. Upon, what do you think is going to happen in the second half? Well, as usual, I always say Newcastle play better in the second half. And this slate of first is really good for us because we will push all the way forward. I expect that Van Ebert is going to get injured after this, as usual. Um, maybe Adebayo or Bill are going to get cramped. So from there, we will take advantage because... Spurs defense is really good when Dawson and King playing. But Basso and Kabul, you can see that they have some uh, very, very worrying moments. So I expect a mistake from one of them. And Demaba will score one, and Leo Best will score one. And maybe Ben Affa will make a, 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 a surprise show and score another one. So it looks like they're predicting Newcastle is going to come back in the second half. Pip say it's going to be very exciting, like a ping-pong match one after the other. But we'll see what happens together with the Spurs fans and the Newcastle fans here at Majid for the second half. No! Sounds like a goal! It's a goal! Was this part of the plan, man? Huh? Was this part of the plan? I did say the Mbaba is going to score. Jermaine Defoe scores for Spurs. The substitute scores for Spurs. It's Newcastle 1, Spurs 2. <laughs> And that's it, final score, Newcastle 2, Spurs 2, it was nice having them, we'll join them towards the end, and uh, as we thank both supporters for being here tonight, great match, great scoreline, Newcastle 2, Spurs 2. All the, all the pleasantries going on right now, of course, it's our full-time report together with the Newcastle boys and of course the Spurs boys, it's a good game. Ended up in a two-all draw. Uh, Leonard, we'll save you because you always have the last word. Let's talk to Nizam from uh, the Newcastle side. What do you think of the game, Nizam? Okay, uh, it was close. It was tight. Uh, it was, uh, to me, it was fortunate for us to, to draw the game because we came back twice from behind. So to get a draw um, at home against a, uh, very a very good team was fortunate because Spurs, I think, after they lost the first two opening games, they didn't lose anything. So it was a tight match. So do you think was the draw deserved by Spurs going to St James's Park? It's not an easy place to go and get a win. Yeah, no, definitely not. I think uh, we were. I think we were. I think that the team, both teams, today played extremely well. I mean, um, we were actually quite lucky and fortunate that we didn't lose it at the last minute because you can see that our team was really uh, losing steam. You know, and these guys were like going on and on, and they had like three strikers on on board. And uh, I think at the end of the day, I mean, I, I, there's no complaints from Spurs. I think it's a very good, very good uh, draw for us. I think it's a point deserved for each of the teams now vying for that fourth position. But do you think it felt like a win for Newcastle rather than a draw? Yeah, definitely felt like a win. 80 minute, right? Or 80, yeah. 80 second minute, we scored through. The most unexpected Shola Amiobi. <laughs> so it felt like a win. It felt like a win. So with all the slack you're giving Shola Omiyobi and he scores the, the, the equaliser for you guys, or got you guys back into the game, uh, do you have the same sentiments for Shola Omiyobi now? 
Uh, I think so because okay, we got the best two forwards on form forwards, uh, Dembaba and Best at the time being. So to put in Shola and Mobi when we were behind was quite a shocking, uh, surprising decision for us. And the last word with Spurs, of course, now Ledley King seems to be injured. It looks to be a protected long-term injury. What's going to happen to the back four? Because Basong wasn't really like Basong. Yeah, well, Basong has always been uh, questionable, but hopefully I think he should take this chance right now to show what he's worth. I mean, if he doesn't take this chance right now, I think he will be sold in January for sure, you know, and uh, probably will get another one in. So I guess it's up to him right now, you know, to prove to, to not just Spurs, but to himself. You know, that he can actually take up the position of what King has left behind for him. So it's, uh, it's all even squared at St. James's Park. Our big thank you from the Spurs supporters to the Newcastle supporters for joining us here. Good game, good game, good game. Okay, they're, they're shaking hands. They could hug after this, but uh, that's pretty much it for Fans Live this time. Reporting from Majid at Section 16. Until we see you next week. Bye.